Senator Sessions, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Sarah Root case. I know that you and I have discussed it briefly uh, last summer. Sarah Root uh, was a woman who was killed a year ago this month in Omaha. She had just graduated from college, and she was killed uh, by a drunken street racer. Omaha authorities believed that this guy had been uh, engaged in similar activity many times in the past. He was an illegal immigrant. Uh, he ran into her car, killed her right after her graduation. Uh, he was detained by Omaha police. They ultimately uh, notified the Department of Homeland Security. This guy is a flight risk. He was able to post a fairly insignificant bond, and he disappeared. The Department of Homeland Security did nothing to detain the guy, despite the fact that the Douglas County Sheriff and the Omaha Police Department asked that he be detained. Uh, the Obama administration determined that it wasn't an enforcement priority. I don't want to hold you to specifics on this case here, but I want to get your uh, pledge in this context. I want to hear you talk generally about the coordination between state and local law enforcement on illegal immigration activities, and in particular in cases where serious crimes have been committed. But I wonder if you would pledge now that if I send you a letter the day after you're confirmed, would you give expeditious attention to responding with some of these details about how enforcement priorities are set inside the federal government? Thank you, Senator Sass. I certainly will, and it does represent uh, important um, failures that we're seeing too often in our system today. Do you have any top-line thoughts on the way local and state officials interact with federal officials on immigration cases? Well, the immigration enforcement procedures the courts have held are exclusively the power of the federal government. But it's also clear that a state official has the right to uh, ask somebody for the offense of crossing the border illegally. They have the right to arrest people who have entered the country illegally or repeatedly entered the country illegally for any kind of offense, including the offense of reentering illegally. And uh, the cooperative system should work in a way that the federal government then evaluates whether or not they want to put a hold on uh, uh, in order not to release that person until they can take them and see them be deported. And it's failing in a whole number of ways. You've got the uh, sanctuary cities who refuse to tell Homeland Security that they've got somebody that's committed a serious crime so they can be uh, deported. They refuse to honor detainers. On the other side, we've got Homeland Security too often uh, having standards or failing to uh, follow up on serious offenses of people who should be deported. So in both aspects, I think, Senator Sass, uh, we can do much better. And if we, uh, this country has, has every right to deport persons who are here unlawfully, who violate our criminal laws in some other aspect, and they should indeed be promptly deported. Thank you. Uh, we'll follow up with the letter, because this guy, Edwin Mejia, who killed Sarah Root, um, it, it was obvious to everybody engaged locally, lots of law enforcement and the family whose daughter was killed, that this guy was a flight risk. And everyone was screaming to the feds, please don't let this guy disappear before he can stand trial. He's now in the top 10 most wanted list, and nobody thinks he's ever going to be found. Everybody believes he left the country, and this kind of case isn't an isolated case. It's a kind of handoff between federal and local law enforcement that could happen repeatedly if you don't have a federal government that has any clear policies. So we'd like to, so I would like to send you a letter right after your confirmation asking for clarity about how and enforcement actions are prioritized. And Senator Sass, I would note um, that fundamentally that will be a homeland security issue initially, and uh, they need to set the standards of what they should and should not do. And I would think that uh, General Kelly would be quite willing to also talk with you about it, as will I. I, I will likely be addressing the letter to both you and General Kelly, so thank you.